<laughs> I just d fired resin and it was a I guess we can call to order the meeting of the Board of Health on October 15, 2018. Uh, do we have any public discussion? I'm out here as a, um, a student, so I'm just oh. supposed to sit in on a, okay. right. a little well, meeting. <laughs> well, nice well, yeah. nice. Thank you. Well. <laughs> uh, should I give people a minute or two to get here, or? No, I think the people who are going to be coming, they'd be here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Our agenda for tonight will start with the chair report, which is my report. Uh, I would like to use this to stress the importance of the annual flu shot. Uh, as Laura's well aware of, we're in the middle of flu season. And just a couple of guidelines for the flu vaccine. Uh, it is recommended basically for everyone over six months uh, or, or older. Uh, so I would recommend anybody six months or older getting the flu shot. Uh, there are a couple different flu shots available. Uh, there's a trailant which has been around for many, many years, which has the current three strains that are fairly prevalent that they've come up with. Uh, the H1N1 and H3N2 along with a B strain. Uh, and there's also a valent uh, vaccine which has the two A strain, strain, strains plus uh, two B strains uh, that I would again recommend that anybody get one that's eligible to get one. And the CDC does not uh, recommend one quadrivalent versus a trivalent. As long as you get it, that, that is the recommendation. Uh, also, there is a nasal spray that is available this year for those over two years of age. Uh, that is a live vaccine, so there are uh, limitations on people that can that can get the live vaccine. Uh, one of the one of the major ones is during pregnancy. One would not get the live nasal spray during pregnancy. Uh, there's all two vaccines available <clears throat> for those over 65 years uh, of age. Uh, there is no CDC recommendation of the, uh, of the over 65 versus the standard vaccine, but it is available for those over 65. There was one study that showed that one of the over 65 year old vaccines was 63% more effective than the standard dose. So one should consider if you're 65 to get, I believe it was the flu ad, was the high, do uh, well actually it's a, not a high dose, but it's for an over 65 uh, year old uh, flu thing. Uh, as far as questions that people may have about the flu vaccine, there's been some uh, proposals that people should wait until later in the season to get their flu vaccine. Uh, that's, I, I would recommend it, the CDC recommends against that, uh, just because uh, there, there, although there has been studies showing effectiveness as time goes on on the flu vaccine, uh, there is no definitive time when flu strike will flu season will strike. So uh, the CDC recommend that you get as soon as it's available and you're available to get a vaccine uh, to get it and not to wait. Uh, another question came up re regarding egg allergies. Would that be a reason not to get the flu vaccine? And again, the CDC would recommend that even if you do have an egg allergy, to get the flu vaccine. Uh, something like hives uh, would be a mild reaction. They would definitely recommend you be observed during it. Uh, and also, even if you have had an anaphylactic uh, response to it, uh, which might even be a life-threatening thing, it's still recommended that you get the flu shot uh, under medical supervision, under direct medical supervision. So it, it would be important still to get the flu in. And that's sort of my, I'm stressing that as my chair report this, this month. 
to any questions regarding the flu vaccine that anybody had or do you, do you have something coming up in your report about um, mm -hmm. clinics and stuff like that yeah I'll wait till the end of the day. Uh, let's see the next <coughs> item was the rodent activity uh, let's see uh, Laura we we did have what a thousand a thousand flyers go out uh, a thousand households that went out did we get any response to that yes quite a few uh -huh. um, a lot of people were concerned about it you know, getting the letter hadn't seen anything but wanted to know what was going on because they were getting the letter and then some people called that they said they didn't know anything about it so they wanted now they know it's a problem they wanted to report it so we could get them on the list How many flyers? I think a thousand, a thousand, a thousand households. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the whole southwest uh, part of the town. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I spent a good two hours today with Yankee Pass Control down at Washington Park. So we baited the entire park. It is safe. The park doesn't <clears> really have to be closed. They're all closed, locked boxes. And the alert went out on yeah. Friday. Yeah. On our Thursday. first 911 went out on Friday to the surrounding area okay. a little bit larger than the area that got yeah. the so fortunately we have the software program that we can send the message out mm -hmm. electronically to mm -hmm. phone numbers in that general neighborhood okay i received mm -hmm. oh good ah. now andy quick question when you received it how did it come up on the tag because i had a couple people said that they got it from a 978 number mine always comes up as code red mm. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just curious, because I talked with uh, Jackie Collins, who lives in the neighborhood. She was uh, at our last meeting. She's mm -hmm. really a, kind of spearheaded the, yeah. the, the neighborhood group over there, and I was talking with her about it. Uh, she said some people did get it, some didn't um, get it. So how do we... You only get it if you actually clicked off. Like when you go on the website, yeah. you, you actually have to click off the Board of Health. Or like just like you have to click off the select board and you can click right. off what you want to be notified right. on. So if you click that off, then you were generated onto the list. Okay. Is there two places that like a... Is there like you clicked off, you wanted updates, and you were in that area to get it? Or, or, or how does it work? How did they, they separate the numbers out? They just kind of go... How do they figure out the households? Everybody had, had a phone number within that area. Yeah, they they grab the up. geographic section. Yeah. Okay. The technology is there that they can okay. grab it. All right. Generally, people who lived around that park. Okay. It seems like some, somehow a few households maybe, <coughs> maybe got missed. I'm somewhere. sure. Yeah. But you I'm, have to put yourself on the list. It doesn't just grab your phone number. Well, well it, it could the be. The police department has a different yeah. number for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to subscribe. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Depends how she sent it out. <laughs> okay. I, I, I wasn't into the D in okay. that. Yeah. Not, not, a, not really a big concern, just something to of note. Yeah. And some people who don't have a registered phone number might have gotten missed. And yeah. There could have been a number of variables. And Laura has our spreadsheet. Has it widened at all? 53. The 53 reports. Uh, has it been pretty much primarily the same Still area? Still in that time? area, yeah. Okay. Uh, we also had a report of suspicious pellets on James Street. Uh, Laura, you did, ins you did inspect that. You went by. I actually I walked the streets around that area to try to find something. Uh, I didn't really see anything suspicious uh, when you were by. Did you? I was unable to find it at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, now, any repeat? Reports Just those of two that. times, the time you went and the time that I went. And it was the same, the same location? Same house. Okay. Uh, did we get the name of the person? Can we check back with them to see if, if, it's, if it's ceased? The, uh, maybe we can yeah, check can to make sure that that... I tell her to call me, which she did the very next day again. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, poison out the public is not acceptable. You know, if, if people were to put something out, pellets or... What are they, bars of some sort? That, uh, They're like green cubes. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I don't have a pet, but I guess they look like some form of a dog treat. Does anyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, they look like a dog treat. And what it is, is inside the box, there's a rod that connects, and the box is locked, and the rod is <coughs> locked in place as well. And these cubes line up inside, like they slice, put them in, and then they lock the bar in. Mm -hmm. So 
maybe somebody got the cubes separated or you can buy the cubes you can okay, okay. with the wire and nothing else hmm. i i it, i thought maybe somebody ran over the box to and put the it over outside out. to put it outside um you can get pulled of the wire by a rat with you know if it's not properly set up and then it moves gets moved around so i mean people who are not putting them in boxes outside that's pretty dangerous yeah Yeah, and I would just recommend that anybody, if they were to see those, to contact us immediately. That's not something we want, we want to have out on the sidewalks of town with right. kids walking Absolutely. and uh, people walking their pets. So that that would be a definite. Uh, but after that, no further reports, correct? That was okay. the only call, and one of them, unfortunately, was eaten by a dog. Mm -hmm. But the dog's fine. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, any further updates on our rodent issue or outside of uh, now Washington Park was done today. today. Actually, just right. I came straight from there. Okay. Now, how did that work? Did they set up multiple traps and locations all yeah. over? Or? Around the park. Now, they will be monitoring those yes. routinely, or yes. do we have to do that? No, no, they will. They will. We don't have the key to even open them. Okay, and do they send reports mm -hmm. every month or week? Every time or, they go. Which will be? So, they'll go back and check it, and then based on the activity that's found, they'll either increase or stay once a month. If they find not, nothing, which mm -hmm. that would be, and if mm -hmm. not, if they find a lot, then they'll have to refill the cube, so they'll come back more often. Okay. And that's a year contract? Yes. Right? Okay. Uh, any, is there anything else we should be doing, uh, monitoring or anything like that for the for the area, for the residents? Unless there's a complaint that we need to go out to know. Okay. And as far as the complaints we have had, they've all been pretty much followed up on and yep. investigated and... Mostly the calls have been, I just wanted to let you know, like they already have their pest control in place and they're already taking care of them. Okay. So no outstanding real problems that we have outside of there being rats around. Okay. I'm sorry, we're up to 54. I'm just trying 53. to... 53. In regards to homes that are um, potentially more problematic just because it's set up, I know there's a few homes in the area that are, um, you know, not well kept. There's a lot of shrubs that are overgrown, um, you know, there's a lot of things left around. Uh, the house and what have you. Is there any authority that the Board of Health has over something like that in these situations where it's a house directly in the area that most affected that could actually be contributing to the problem? Or a better way to ask it is, there is, when does it rise to that level? Well, the, the sanitary There's code would sort of, yeah. would, would dictate, that's, but. would dictate what, what steps we can take via what what was happening at the location um, I mean if there's any trash or anything uh, high grass probably wouldn't qualify for that unless we could definitively show that there were rodents in that but basically it would be trash I would say uh, unkept trash okay well the, so the first step then would be sending the inspector out to take a look at the so I know um, a couple of residents in that area have, have described a couple of properties um, in the streets right now, uh, Westcroft being one of them. Yeah. That and one's then, been all trimmed back. And on the other oh, side, uh, yeah. the, the street right behind Westcroft as well that runs parallel with it. There was another one uh, that they said they had some problems with. Yeah, we sent the, um, uh, the building inspector out oh, under okay. the vacant properties bylaw, which is a little bit cleaner. We do a okay. lot of enforcement. Yeah. Um, and the building inspector is obviously the enforcement sure. entity for any of the properties that would become aware of that there's a problem. <clears throat> and um, on the Westcroft Road one, that was one that the front of the house was all overgrown. Right. Yeah. So we sent the building inspector out there, and um, on his authority under the vacant properties bylaw, he was able to follow up and get a letter out and they addressed it right away. But that was a vacant property. Okay. It was a vacant property. So that's, okay. that, that's, that's where we yeah. get, um, as I say, it's a little bit easier yeah. to, to do, do enforcement with, with a vacant property. Okay. We've had really good success with that. 
Um, so we'd be more than happy if there's anything vacant to follow okay. up on that. Okay. Now, when he did the follow up, though, he's not looking for signs of road infestation, right? Well, it was based on the complaint that Laura got, um, and that actually someone approached me at the meeting at the library okay. and said this property, like you said, was obvious to the neighbors that yep. that was an issue. So we just sent him up, and um, he followed up on it. Um, so anything we're aware of that's problematic, <clears throat> depending on how, which re set of regulations we need to follow up with, whether it's health or building or any of the other regulatory people that we have in our office will we'll follow up gladly. Yeah. It's tricky. You know? Right. Yeah. No, my, my question more is, I know that it was, they got the letter out to the owners, the owners doing it, yeah. you guys too, did they have like hire a pest company to come in? They Do came you know? in and they, they that Westcroft Road, they, they trimmed away all the overgrown brush. Yeah. And that was the issue that brought to our attention. Okay. We're talking about the same property. Okay, so then uh, nothing was mentioned to the owners in regards to there could be potential uh, rodent problem on, on your property. No. Okay. No, it was purely just trying to get that overgrowth. I mean, did you go out to that one on West Yeah, Crown? you can't actually cite that there could be a potential. You actually have to see something. See something, yeah. Right, okay. So when Laura goes out, that's when we yeah, yeah. try and... and... There was another one on Washington that um, the building department yes. also took care of. Yes, that was another one. Back. Those okay. people live in Florida, and they had a problem with um, harborage. Not mm -hmm. rodents. It was um, raccoons. Okay. And so we dealt with that one. This some so, months ago. Yeah, that's before the... Yes, before, before all of this. But that was never rats, that was raccoons, and they had open facial boards, which they did correct. Yeah. And overgrown vegetation, which they did cut They back. did. Okay. Yeah, so we... But, um, but, yeah, but Kevin, I think, your, to your question, our action would be initiated by a report to us. Yes. Uh, so, okay. I mean, we would need a call of something going on. On that property. On, right. the, on the property, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Almost all of the enforcement that we do is complaint, mm -hmm. is in response to complaints, um, or some other way that somebody brings something to our attention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we can follow up on it. Okay. But there was no activity at the house with the over, what was it, Westcroft? Westcroft, yeah. Westcroft, yeah. yeah. There was no activity. Okay. So the best thing to do is to let the, that neighborhood know. Yeah. yeah, if they see anything, yeah, I'll let them know concerns. again if they, you know, if they, yep. they, they can, if they're walking by at night, pictures. No, <laughs> and then if um, they a see few it. people have called. Just even an email. Yeah. Okay. A few people have called with um, unregistered cars. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we've got well, the police department with their help actually has gotten rid of quite a few of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. I know some built-in <laughs> benefits to this. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Uh, any other questions regarding the rodent issue? No, I looked into the contrapass, which is mm, okay, that yes. chemical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. really expensive, I think. Um, the the guy in Somerville wasn't. Um, he didn't, yeah, he didn't really expand on anything. <laughs> um, but it sounds like they spent like a hundred thousand dollars on four locations. Or I don't know how big the locations were, but I assume like four parks oh, okay. or something, which is obviously. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've uh, reached out to there's a local provider. Um, I can't. It's not trivial because I'm not where you, this is a restricted use pesticide. It's not really pesticide, but. Um, so I can't get uh, you know a quote or anything specifically, mm -hmm. but I'm tr trying to just get some sort of ballpark to see if that's still what the going rate is. They were at Somerville was a pilot study. It was they were I think the first city that the company worked with to try and get their data set to then get other cities to go along. So you know who knows how things have changed, hmm. um, but. Yeah, I'll let you know okay. <laughs> if, it, if the price is anywhere. Are, are the, is the company looking for any more like study? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. And I think the the, the places they're going are all big cities. Yeah, you know? makes right. sense. They're going to yeah. DC and mm -hmm. yeah. So. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I did reach out to six dumpster companies, and actually was a little surprised. They do not sanitize dumpsters. Hmm. You're okay. on your own for sanitizing a the dumpster. They have um, they have 
pellets kind of crystals, they call them crystals, that you can throw in mm -hmm. that will sanitize it, or you can throw in bleach, but they actually take it away and give you a new one if you have a contract or if you pay for it. Hmm. But they don't, not one person that I called, so they actually sanitize dumpsters. I was surprised by that. Yeah. Okay. And as far as those holes, do you remember the holes yeah. on the side for the mm -hmm. drainage? Yeah. They're not supposed to be there. Oh, really? So some companies plug their holes so that there is no drainage. Um, not one company covers their holes with mesh. Some of them refer to the holes which were rot holes, not mm -hmm. like purpose drainage. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the holes there are, are no not holes. <laughs> yeah, the no. holes are no holes. Okay. So there's no holes. So that means if water moisture gets in, it just sits, sits there, there until it's picked it 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 up and dumped in. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I was very, actually not very happy with my findings on this. Hmm. Yeah. I thought they sanitized it somehow, and I was like, how do you say it? And they're like, no, they're not sanitized. They do sell crystals, which you can buy right online. And those are crystals that you put in and they yep, dissolve? They, they, or they, yep, they just spread and spread. sanitize for you and make it smell better, but hmm. that was the only thing. You could either buy the crystals yourself and put it in, or you can hmm. throw bleach in yourself. But everybody's like, you can pay for a new dumpster. We can to pay on, pay to be on the plan every month. But there was wow. Okay. Out of the six that I called, now that's not saying that every single one of them doesn't have it. Gee, I just thought that there would be some sort of way because of because of the moisture and whatever that would get in there. Me too. And How often said, do they dump? We said two, and I was like, oh, well, this wasn't a good answer. Let me keep yeah. calling. And I was like, I got the same answer from six of them. Like, this isn't good. Do they pick up weekly? That all depends on your, on your usage. Well, twice a week, some people three times a week, okay. some people even okay. further apart. Okay. Uh, any further comments at all? or? Um, I did some follow-up on the residence guide. Um, Laura and I spent some time on this. Um, the model guide that oh, I think right. was from Cambridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Laura went through and, and um, marked it up on where we would make the changes to reflect the town of Reading. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, I inquired with town council to we were yeah. following whatever legal procedures yeah. we needed to follow. Mm -hmm. And um, town council basically said you can't do that. So, um, but, but, um, and he gave me a long, you know how Ray is, he gave me a long time. But, um, but what he ended up saying was, you could ask the city of New York, because this comes from the city of New York, you could ask them for permission to reprint mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and duly note that and, and do it that way, see if you could get the permission. So um, I'd be happy to follow up on that with Laura if that's the, uh, the direction the board wants to yeah, go in. But, we'll see yeah. if they'll give us permission. Yeah, I, I'm, it'd be hard to believe they wouldn't, yeah. but... Um, but I, I, I wanted to make sure we had that box checked before we went any further sure. with this. Yeah, right. that, Perfect. that sounds very good, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, Laura and I also spent some time with DPW looking into a couple of the questions we discussed last time about receptacles mm -hmm. and um, the idea of would we require receptacles, how would we go about doing that, what would be the procedure, could we sell them. Um, selling receptacles, I got a big no. That's not what we do. You know, we talk mm -hmm. about discounting and all. Yeah. yeah, that's way off the range. Okay. So, uh, so that I got a loud no on, um, and then all of the um, regulations regarding um, the trash receptacle are in the board of Sel the select board's policies. So, four point six point three specifically dictates rubbish barrels, okay. and that's in the select board's policies. Um, the JRM contract is also the framework that we're working. Right. So to make any changes at this point, I think would be tricky. Um, but she gave us a detailed assessment of um, the things that we can and can't do. And um, most of it had to do with going back to the select board and changing the board policy to address what types of containers um, we would specify. So it's okay. it's in that regulation. And this is for keeping the rats out of the Yeah, we had, we had talked about um, could we uh, require lidded containers, and I think right. that came up at a couple of the meetings, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and in the JRM contract, it allows 
you know, trash bags as part of that. Mm -hmm. So now that contract, we're, I think we're only a couple of years into Three it. Three years into a 10 year contract. Into a 10 year contract. So it's a little sticky on how you would um, mm -hmm. make that change now. Not to say you couldn't, but, um, but that, you know, when we talked to W, she was mm, not too sure about that. She did and say that the cost of the barrels would be borne on the homeowners. The, so homeowner. the homeowners would have to incur that cost. Right. And then who would enforce it? That's another cost that we'd have to think about. Um, Basically, if the Board of Health wanted to change policy for that, we would have to change a contract that we have with our with the trash collection the people. Select board the select, select board, board is, is the first place I would go. Okay to see about changing the select board policy on approved rubbish containers for household use. And then at this, maybe at the same time, uh, circle back to this contract and see what mm -hmm. obligations we're under, is there any flexibility, um, if you want to pursue it that way. Because it's basically, if we were to say to our trash hauler, we, we want to make this change and we want you to enforce it, that's basically not in their contract. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure for more money it could be, but yeah. then where does the money come from? And I, I don't know if I would consider that an emergency for the Board of Health to act on. Uh, probably not. I don't know if we would have that jurisdiction to act on. With, it, it, it seems like they're getting the food source from other places mm -hmm. than trash. I think they're, yeah. I think they're mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, places. Yeah, right. That and was just that was, was just a look. Let's look into it. Yeah, let's look happen. into it. Maybe there's an avenue. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. JRM did say, I think the town manager met at one of the meetings that they were commending the town on how clean our recyclables are. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. it, that's that's good. Yeah, that's great. Um, so adding more regulatory requirements, more contractual obligations. Something to think about. And we have picked up the trash that parks more often. Yes. We've increased that. We've increased that trash okay. pickup. Right. So okay. Actually, every single time I've gone by the trash, there's been no trash in the park. Oh, that's good. All right. I look at every trash barrel and I'm like, oh, it's empty. <laughs> yeah, DPW's been great. They've been very responsive. Yeah, very on top of it. Right on the ball. So that's been great. Okay. Yes, thank you and for then that one research. last thing was the Peabody model bylaw I had mentioned. Oh, no, that's right. Yes, okay. Yeah, so um, I went back to my colleague from the city of Peabody and she asked me to please not distribute the bylaw there. Okay. The city council is still taking it under advisement. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't want to um, overstep that. Sure. Yep. Uh, but but it's, it's out there and it's something that if the board wanted to look at more regulation. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll take a look at that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, any comment at all? We just keep putting this on our agenda, I guess, to make yep. sure it's all being addressed. Uh, Thankfully, uh, less uh, acorns this year. Yeah. Well, the it is. yeah. <laughs> well, that's one one of the walks that I went on uh, down in that area of town. I did know a lot uh, of acorns. They have a lot there in the streets. Yes. Well, it's hard too now because there's so many leaves. Yeah. yeah. I was like pushing them aside with my foot to see if there was holes and then uh, like now am I disturbing the dirt and trying to like you know make it look worse yeah I mean that is one of our recommendations to make sure that the food source for yeah, these animals are not there it. so I mean that's you know whatever you can do to keep the food source out absolutely yeah I was just on NECN a couple nights ago I think uh, that in Maine in these full towns in Maine they're having big explosions in rat populations and you don't even think about it in rural communities mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. one person was feed, putting out like pounds and pounds of bird seed to feed the wildlife and she ended up with a thousand rats over her land oh. so don't do that <laughs> uh, yeah okay <laughs> Uh, well, next on the agenda would be the uh, natural gas dis discussion. We did get some communication from a resident, David Zeke, in town, uh, which he did send another communication over the last couple of weeks that we received. Uh, I guess the, the big question is, is uh, how should the boards of health, how should a board of health weigh in on this? Uh, do you consider this to be a public health issue uh, that we should address, uh, send letters to, advocate for different uh, 
ways of handling the nat natural issue in, in our state and in our town. Uh, just, I guess, for your comments. I had a few myself, but maybe for your comments about how serious you consider this the natural gas issue to be. Uh, I think it's serious, so uh, I would certainly be supportive of uh, drafting a letter mm -hmm. to Governor Baker. I, I will say that I think he, I, there's, right now there's, proposal for a new compressor station in Weymouth, and I believe he did request the DEP and the DPH to uh, <clears throat> put together a report. Yeah, I did. There was a good article in the Globe, I think, on Saturday regarding yeah. that effort that they were, I guess, one of the agencies in, in the state, uh, I forget which agency it was. Uh, was going to look into the public health impacts yeah. of what was happening in the state. Uh, so that was part of what the letter that he had addressed for us to address is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for the governor to look into the health hazards and maybe appoint independent survey on yeah. what's happening, which I think is that is what the committee did or what yeah. the agency did at the state level. Um, but did, did anybody happen to see the Globe article? It was it was a pretty pretty good update. It was a pretty good article. Uh, basically, it, it said that the governor kind of has been a supportive of the new gas pipelines. Uh, but there was the reasons pretty much are is because 66% uh, of the electricity produced by is produced by natural gas generators run by natural gas. Uh, in, the, in the state, and more than 50% of the homes are heated by natural gas. So, you know, it, it does seem to be a kind of a, ne a necessity for the time being uh, to, to have a, a supply of natural gas that we can count on. Wasn't David's letter drafted for future, not current? Well, his was, I think, for the governor to uh, mm -hmm. request, what, what was, was for the governor to request an independent study of the of the processes of bringing natural gas in. Okay. Uh, Any the, new the safety, the safety of, of the processes of us getting natural gas. Uh, I mean, there are there does seem to be more leaks in the system than was originally thought of, uh, which that means more methane and toxic chemicals being released into the environment. Uh, methane, which is a lot more detrimental to uh, the, the global warming than even carbon dioxide is. Uh, so, you know, and those are some of the things that are being left, went into the atmosphere. That is obviously a health issue that we, I think, we should probably address uh, as, a, as a board. Yeah, I think in June there was an article that came out saying that um, the uh, estimations for methane leaks uh, are actually really like significantly lower than the actual methane leaks. I think it was like mm -hmm. a 60% methane leaks, actual methane leaks are 60% are greater than, than they thought. Than they thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, most of that is I think at the uh, generation source. But, uh, but it does continue through pipelines as well, that those are, the leaks are greater than estimated. Mm -hmm. uh, so would, would the board agree that we should maybe do, make an, uh, an effort to uh, alert maybe there to ensure the safety of that, of those lines or of that, uh, of that process? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he did give us a couple of. He gave of, us a couple of letters. Yeah. He, gave, he gave us a couple of letters to look at. No, these are from. Yeah, it's not in this. I don't think it's in this. It's, it's, it's from the. Did he, he, he Mike, did he came? Yeah. Yeah, it was back from the last. Or yes. no, maybe before that. Yeah, it was some, you know, some form letters you could draft yeah, your own. Two, yeah, two letters. One was the one. Was that the first one he came? That was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So one was the one that all a bunch of boards were signing on to. Yes, one is from the Mass Association of Health Boards, yeah. yes. And then the other one, I don't know who the other one is 
from, it just says it's a draft letter, and oh, then yeah, it okay. says yeah. we've adapted this from the Amherst Board oh, of no, Health letter. Um, I liked the, that, mm -hmm. not the whole thing actually, but um, I, I like the third paragraph in that one. Um, but I mean, I'd be willing to draft something. Yeah, would you would you like to? That sure, that would be great. And then uh, you guys can review it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The next meeting. Unless people prefer to just sign on to the. Uh, you know, I think I, I think that I, I wasn't completely in agreement with everything on on those letters. Yeah. Uh, and it may be a little outdated also because I think some of the things he's requesting have already started to happen. So, uh, like the, the agency already looking into some of the safety aspects of pumping natural gas, that, that's, I think they've already started to do that. Yeah, I don't think it's like a commission per se, but it seems like for this specific project, mm -hmm. they've decided to get route, which is good. Yeah, and the article that, that I read in the Globe said they had pledged to do that. Oh, really? But I don't okay. know if they've actually done it yet. They just think want to want to do it. So I'd have to look into the agency to see what they've done. Yeah. I mean, if you can get that draft to Kristen like by the fifteenth of November, okay. Um, because we we collide with the um, uh, town meeting. Right. The town meeting, and then it's Thanksgiving, and then we meet the Monday after Thanksgiving. So. Um, I'm thinking Kristen will probably get the packet out like well, the, the, the 19th, the governor. and then that way she can include it yeah. in the packet. People have ed edits or comments. Does that sound good? Yes. Because um, yep. we're not going to be able to. We usually send it out the Thursday before, mm -hmm. um, but that's going to be Thanksgiving, so we'll, we'll be a little earlier next month. Okay. okay. And would you propose sending it to the governor? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we possibly to the agency that I'd have to. I'm not sure of the agency that does uh, monitor that. It might maybe the Department of uh, Utilities. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'll, I'd have to look into that. But yes. CPU. Okay. Yeah. So we just sent them the letter. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that's another issue. Okay. So yeah, to the governor and the DPU, that would be good. Yeah. Any other discussion about that at all? Or? Okay, well, thank you, Emmy, for that. Uh, let's see, next would be our health agent report. Uh, I know, gee, Laura, you've already given us quite a bit uh, that you've done this month, but anything that we've missed yet? Yes. Um, we have another flu, uh, another flu clinic mm -hmm. at Town Hall on the 18th. Then we have two at the fire department on the 22nd and 24th at 7 a.m. On your way to work. Just went by. Mm -hmm. Then we have another one at the Senior Center on November 17th, or 19th, sorry. Are these on the website? They are, they're all on the okay. website. Okay. So what date was that, sorry? November 19th. 19th. So no, Town Hall is 1018, Fire Department is 1022 and 1024, and the Senior Center is 1119. Okay. Is it the town hall is just town hall hours, I think? It's all day? Uh, no, it's 10 to 1. That's correct. Is that correct? I think it's 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Okay. No, it, it always, it, can any age Anyone? go? Anyone? Yeah, anyone okay. can go. And then we do have one at the fight at the police department, <coughs> but that's in an upstairs secure room, so we can't have that open to the public. Okay. Oh, well, we get in the whole fight. police department on that day. <laughs> And all those are posted on the website. Okay. So tell your neighbors. That's one. And then we have a nurse. We do. Okay. We do. So I've asked her to come to next month's meeting. Mm -hmm. So that I can Great. Um, Nicole. She works at the Mass General. Okay. Is she a local resident or? She is not. She's from Swanscott. Wow. Okay. But she's been a nurse for 25 years. And that's a 16 hour a week? Is 10. It? 10 hours a week. I don't want 
school all her fun, but she is an RA and she does work at the Mass General. All right, great. So I'd like to introduce her next week, if that's okay. Okay. Next month. Next month. Yep. Sure. And all I put together a proposal of dates. They're not all in exactly the Mondays you wanted, just because. It's Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Patriot's Day, sure. all of it, right, so. Okay. And then we did move Christmas one week earlier in December and town meeting, so we moved November a little bit too. So if you want to look that over. I think we're okay. Okay, which one is the November one? Let me just make sure I have that. This November is the 26th. 26th. And then December 17th for 2018. Yeah, December 17th. Christmas cookies. You do? No. We should. We could. With Christmas cookies, <laughs> not open to the public. <laughs> Everyone has to wear gloves. Need the disclaimer, but we're here. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of holidays on the Monday, so I tweak the dates a little bit accordingly. If you have any changes, I can do it now, just so I can book the rooms. And then if something comes up between yeah. now and then, mm -hmm. obviously you can booked. change it. It's crazy. So many boards have booked already. Yeah. Anything else, Laura? No? no. Is that, that looks oh, fine to me. Oh, we have dates? Looks good to me. Any? That looks fine to me. Okay. And the start time is 6 o'clock. Yes. 6 p.m. <clears throat> yeah. Um, let's see. In review of minutes. Uh, review of minutes of the 18th of September. So we don't have the 18th of September. We swapped okay. that one out with um, August 29th. Okay, so we can hold off on that. Uh, do we, at, I should have checked. Did we did we already approve the, the minutes of the 28th of August? Yes. Our last meeting. Yes. We did. Okay. So then we've got currently the minutes of the 26th, which we have been we have been given. We have August 29th and 20. September 26th. So, right, but the one from August 29th, did we already approve those? We, yes. We, we did. We have no. no. We just oh, August 29th, I'm sorry. No, that's, yeah. We have not approved those. No, okay. no, we have not, I'm and sorry. The question I raise is can we actually approve them tonight, not being on the agenda? Looking at you, yes. <laughs> I would say no on my first instant, technically speaking. Good Agenda question. Next one. I'd say to be cautious. I know. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold yeah. until the next. I also haven't had a chance to, to read them, so this would cost another 10 minutes of everyone's night right now. I think they'll look in the email. I looked back from today and time. I'll look again. Maybe I missed it. I, I didn't, I didn't see them in the email. Yeah, there was a highlighted pack because we okay. didn't have um, someone's last Same name. Someone's last name. Listed on there with because we didn't have um, David's last huh. name. Okay, that's maybe we did table it because we didn't have the actual names. That's right. Uh, do we have to have the actual names to approve them? We have them now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, okay. But Kevin makes a point because yeah. so we should we should table that for next time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. But now you have them, so we don't. Yep. Mm -hmm. we do. them. Okay. Okay. We do. And as far as the ones from our last meeting on September 26th, yep. that was, uh, did, did you have a chance to look? That was just our meeting where I looked we, at this, yeah, just then when we walked in today. Yes. Um, but if one wants to take a second while they're reading it, I will bring up something else in the next two uh, minutes. So we all got the copy from uh, the town clock, Laura, and the guys to uh, the minutes that we missed. Have a little oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, data sheet yeah. kind of thing. Um, so the town clerk is asking all the boards, committees, commissions to try to as up to date as they can with their with their minutes and have it online and or have explanations for that we looked, we tried, we can't find. 
Point in case, 9, 9, 20, 10. Maybe tough to find minutes from there. Mm -hmm. um, as Gene was pointing out earlier, though, a lot of these times, the instances could have came up where the Board of Health attended someone else's meeting, and the minutes could be reflected there. Mm -hmm. um, we wouldn't necessarily keep minutes uh, ourselves, for example. Um, a month or so back when you, uh, when you both attended the, uh, the meeting with the, board, um, the select board. That's right. We wouldn't really have minutes from that. Right. But, yeah. So mm -hmm. what Laura's just asked us to do in the future is to come up with uh, minutes and just say, um, even just the one line, attended the board of uh, the select board meeting on this date. Right. Which and then fine. we just approve that and send it. Right. Actually, you don't have to approve it, she said. You don't have to approve it? No. Nope. Just, uh, just send it to her? Yeah, because oh, uh, she gave me the exact verbiage that because they were created on the select board meeting, the Board of Health doesn't even have minutes, doesn't have to vote okay. or anything. We just need to put something in there so in case someone goes looking for it, they know where to go to find it. Yeah, kind of like perfect. a placeholder. Exactly, yeah. So, just, yeah. so I just I like figured I'd, uh, I'd bring this up yeah. to the points and I'll try to run down as many of these as, as possible uh, to try to get us as uh, current yeah, as we can. So the last four, one of them was canceled, one of them was really a uh, select boy. So it's like yeah. right. mm -hmm. yep. and two of them were posted, but there was a cross between Laura's paperwork and when she ran them and when she distributed them. Right. So she's okay. just really waiting on the two that we were mm -hmm. supposed to do. One here. Yeah, the 29th and the, and the 18th. And the 18th. And then yeah. Yeah, right. we're going to get up today tonight on the 26th. Okay. Okay. We're up to date since we've been here and she's been, yeah. <laughs> 2010, I can't answer. <laughs> Yeah, but 2017, that, that's bothersome. Uh, there's about 30 of them uh, or so total across from 2010. Mm -hmm. Because part of them were the last summer, remember we, I think maybe when you first started, Kevin, we, we went over the executive session. I was had to approve yeah, we, them and release them. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we did. We, we did. I thought we did all of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's noted. Yeah, it's noted right here. They received on what on in January. On the last page, you see it received January twenty fifth this year. Those executive session minutes. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just on the, the, the meeting date of August of two thousand seven. The next to last page. Yep. Yep. Uh, where it says minutes received, there's like one, two, three, four, five, five minutes that were not received, and two of them were executive sessions. Yeah. And I thought we we debated that, and I think we we approved them, and I think we released them, especially especially the executive did. session we did. ones. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We did. Nancy wrote them. Yeah, we yeah. released all of them. But, but on this, it says minutes received, and it's not on there. So they... It says online, yes. But it says online, yes. Yeah. I think there might be some so, discrepancies. Yeah. There's a duplicate. There's, there's a I'll, duplication. Like, yeah, I'll fall yeah, back with Laura on all these. Okay. Um, I'm happy. To, I talked with her a little bit today to try to get a hope of it all. So I can fall back with her as to mm -hmm. why it's online, but it's not uh, saying minutes received. Yeah. It, it, it could just it be says an error. that in a couple of places. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does say that in a couple of places, so it could just be an error. Okay. Because I know I'm pretty sure we released all of the executive session minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they have been released. So they, yep. they had to have been posted, and I, she had them. Yep. So they would have she, they would have had to have been received. So, Correct. okay. Yeah, right. And if you need us to go dig into anything, just okay. let us know. Yeah, a lot of the stuff you can probably... Could be just even online without knowing. Yeah, but if there's anything in our files, we're glad to go to go looking. Yeah, I think we keep pretty good records online about when meetings took place. Mm -hmm. and, uh, right. Yep. Yeah. So I uh, cross reference and see what meetings were just attendance of another meeting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay. I've had a chance to read, where were we, 926? 926. That was the meeting where we discussed the letter. And everything to me. Uh, yeah, is there a motion to accept or motion, to? Motion to approve the minutes of 926, 2018. Second. Second. There's been a second. All in favor? Uh, three zero to approve the minutes of September 26th. And for the other two, we will have to leave for the next for our next meeting. Yep. 
So that'll be the nine of the eight twenty nine and the nine eighteen. Yes. Correct. And tonight. Yep. Correct. Correct. Yep. Yep. And any other topics that have not been brought up in the last 48 hours at all? Or is it... Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Uh, meeting has is adjourned for the evening.